Love, thank you so much indeed for coming on to the programme. When we read about you, myself and our planning producer, I sent her the story. I said, we have to get this guy on. It's an incredible story. Pranav, look, let's do the technical stuff first, OK? And then we'll come on to the artistry. How does this technology sure. work? And how easy was it for you to get a handle on it? Because it sounds complicated. So the way the technology works is um, you summarized it very accurately. The pitch is height. The volume is brightness. And the panning of the sound from left to right tells me where the object is in the camera view, you know, on the horizontal plane. So what I do is I hear these soundscapes. It's a bit like a symphony. And I then have to decode the soundscapes and figure out what I'm looking at. But this is not the whole story. What also happens is that when I hear these soundscapes, my visual neural cortex gets activated. So the theory behind the software, it's made by a Dutch physicist, Dr. Peter Bielmeier, is that these electrical signals are the same as you get from your eye. So the brain says, wait a minute, I am getting visual signals irrespective of the output. So let me use the neurons for vision to process this input. Therefore, it is some kind of vision. Now, I have never seen because I'm congenitally blind, so I can't tell you if it is like organic vision. But... Um, yeah, it gives me the ability to perceive what I can't perceive with any of my other senses. OK, so how did you come about deciding that this was the thing that you would pursue? In other words, be a photographer. I mean, it's not your profession, is it? It's kind of your passion. Yeah, it's not my profession at all. Uh, I work in the area of cybersecurity. The... The way this came about is when I started using the voice in, say, somewhere around 2000, uh, I was like, OK, I am seeing this, but what am I looking at? How do I share what I'm looking at with the world? And that's when, you know, blogging was just coming up. So I then began to put up these photographs and ask on the Seeing With Sound mailing list OK, I have these photographs which I saw today. Can you help me interpret the soundscape? So it was asking a lot of questions, and it is asking of these questions and getting feedback, which is what led me into photography. Because the other thing was, when I started using the voice, it was like, all right, I have this new thing. Uh, how? What do I use it for? What do I do with it? So I wanted to do something which was as visual as was possible, uh, short of flying an aircraft or driving. Uh, and photography turned out to be the theme. I love them. I mean, we're just showing them to you while you're talking to us. Pranav, what are your favourite kind of subjects? Do you like to take pictures of people, of landscapes, of architecture? What do you particularly, uh, sort of, what are you drawn to? Uh, I'm drawn to landscapes and architecture. I, I love landscapes, especially something, you know, with the mountains, water. I love architecture because we can create so many different shapes. And if, you, if I tilt my head in one way, I get a different view. If I tilt my head the other way, I get a different view. Just like, you know, the way you see with your eyes, it's the same thing. But it's the intricacies of the sound that uh, attract me and also the process. OK, let's say uh, the world reaches the end of the coronavirus pandemic and you can travel anywhere you want and go to any particular location that your heart desires. What's your number one choice? My number one choice would be someplace with a volcano, preferably an active volcano. I want to go down. I want to see the lava flowing uh, and the rocks and so on. What about selling your photography? Any chance, any idea you've explored it? Sales uh, have happened, by the way. It, it's not something uh, I have explored actively. I'm open to doing it, but the idea for me was more about, OK, here are these photographs on my blog, someone else wanting to learn 
the way I learned, you have some kind of database of complex scenes because, see, everyone starts with simple stuff. You know, we'll start you with lines and you'll show you your kitchen and so on when you start with the voice. But then what about complex scenes? You know, what this so much rich visual information out there. Pranav, thank you so much indeed. Okay, I'm going to repeat your name in case anybody's watching and wants to check out your stuff. It's worth it. Pranav Lal, photographer in New Delhi. Take care, Pranav.